Hello guys, welcome back to the C1 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily C1 Engineering videos. Today we have a very important topic about the beam reinforcement detail. So in this lecture, the student will get benefit how to study the drawings of the beam reinforcement. So let's start the beam reinforcement detail. So this is the beam given to us, which is the length of 5 foot, 10 foot, 5 foot. It means the total length of the beam is 20 foot. You can see the length. And there are two cross sections of the beam given to us. One is the section AA and one is the section BB. Section AA is the start section of the beam. You can see it is the start, while section BB is the mid section of the beam. So there is some difference between these two sections. That's why we have two different sections. If there is no difference between the sections, then you have to place or you have to draw only one section. So in this diagram, in this beam, we can see that there are the main bars placed at the bottom of the beam. These are the main bars. You can see, but how many numbers? We cannot see that how and numbers these bars are. So for this, we will study the section detail. You can see the section AA. So for, it means that when you look from this side, you will see the section AA. So this is the cross section of the beam, which is 12 inches width, and the depth of the beam is 18 inches. Similar, the both the sections have the same width. It means the beam has the same dimension throughout the length. So the first part is to study about the main bar at the bottom. So we can see there is a straight bars going throughout the length of the beam, but we don't know their numbers, that how many numbers these bars are. So by seeing into the section AA, we can see that there are four numbers bars. One, two, three, four. We can see there are four numbers bar, and these bars have like this way. Four number seven bar. It means the number seven is the number while four in numbers. You can see one, two, three, four. Right now, coming to the top portion in the top of the beam, you can see there is the one crank bar is placed here. You can see there is the bar moving, moving, and then it downs one, again moving straight, 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 and then again upward and again moving in upward direction. So this is the crank bar used for to resist the positive bending moment at the midpoint and resist the negative bending moment at the supports. So this crank bar is shown in section AA. Here you can see that these crank bars are two in numbers. These are two are the crank bars. You can see one, two. So there are two, two number seven bars. I'm just assuming that it's number seven bar, right? It's not given here, but I'm just assuming how to read the details of the drawing. So th there are two in numbers. So I place the two and number seven that these are, let's suppose these are number seven bars. So these are the crank bar. In section AA, these are the crank bars. While the top most bars which are used to hold the stirrups and for the compression, you can see throughout the length of the beam. So in section A, you can see these are the two top most bar. So I can also write the two number seven bar. So these are the top bars. Now coming to the section BB. We mentioned the section BB because it is different from the section AA. How? You can see that the in section BB, we have the same width and depth of the beam, but here we have, don't have any crank bar. You can see the crank bar is not on the top of the section, but here the crank bar moves down and we see here at the bottom of the section. Because in, in the section BB, the crank bar is usually below the uh, below the neutral axis and it is the in the below portion. So we can see here that the in section BB, the crank bar has been transferred into the bottom portion. So again, drawing the, uh, reading the drawing of the section BB, the four numbers are the bars moving through length of the beam, the same bar as we see in section AA. The only difference is that the, these two bars come down because the crank bar in section BB is shown in below. So this is the main difference. That's why we place the another section, which is section BB. And the top bars are moved through the length of the beam. You can see in section BB. So these are the two bars. So this is the way how to draw, how to deal with the drawings of the section. 
Now, they are also given that the, there are the stirrups used throughout the length of the beam. So how the stirrups are divided into three portions. One is the 5 foot length, then 10 foot, then 5 foot. So the 5 foot length, the number 3 stirrup is used at 4 inches center to center. It means the distance between the stirrup is, between each stirrup is 4 inches. From the center to center, this center and to this center, we have the 4 inches. Similarly, from 10, from this length of the beam, the 10 foot length of the beam, we have the stirrup of number 3, the same number 3 bar, but it is the, at 8 inches center to center. We have more space between these stirrups. You can see the space is now more as comparison to this. The space is now more in the case of the 10 foot length. Again, at the end of the beam, we have number 3 at 4 inches center to center is the same as this one. Usually, the uh, stirrups are closely spaced at the supports because we have more shear force, more shear demand here at the end of the beam. While at the mid of the beam, there is no such high demand of the uh, shear force. That's why we don't need to close the stirrups at close distance. So this is also the way how to read the stirrups on the given beam. And the other things are that the stirrups here shown is the, like in this way, this is the stirrup shown here, this bar, which you close the, which you close the, now we see here that these are the stirrups bar, you can see, I, I shown here in the, uh, these are the, in the view, and the length of the beam, but here you can see in the cross section, these are the stirrups, and these stirrups have a hook here, at the end, at the, here, hook and this is known as the seismic hook you can see here this is the hook and this is the seismic hook and the length of this hook this uh, bend is usually 4d where 4 is the constant and d is the diameter of this stirrup which is number 3 bar so you can put the value of d we will, we will find the length of this hook bar which is the length of this bar now again you can see the stirrup here the same stirrup is used uh, at the section bb but at the, uh, at the section BB, you have to mention that the stirrup is used as number 3 at 8 inches center to center. Because the stirrup is now more space provided in the 10 foot of length in section BB. While section AA, these are closed enough and these are a distance of 4 inches center to center. While section BB, these are at 8 inches center to center. And this is also the hook provided to close the stirrups. So the hook length is also 4D, where 4 is a constant, and this is the diameter of this bar, which is number 3. So you can find the length of this hook bar. And this hook bar is generally known as the seismic hook, because it is used to resist the earthquake forces. So this was the a method how to read the beam reinforcement detail. Hope you understand. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.